YouTube. Um, I just wanted to uh, quickly make a, a video. This is actually just a personal video, a video blog for myself. Um, I'm doing okay. I am now uh, four weeks. Um, let's see here. It'll be four weeks post op, so I'm three weeks and four days post op from my surgery. I am at the beginning of my my highest weight was 315 pounds. Uh, prior to surgery, my lowest uh, weight was 295. I'm currently at 275.8, so I have lost a total of uh, maybe 15, I'm sorry, 20 pounds. Um, a little bit over uh, 20, just maybe a little bit over 20 pounds. Um, and I'm doing okay. I've actually incorporated exercising. I am using an exercise video that I actually purchased when I was doing Weight Watchers. It has five different workout videos on there. Fat burning, cardio dance, Pilates. Um, it has an ab an ab, a 10 minute ab workout, as well as um, a yoga zone. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I am still having um, kind of like a searing pain in my stomach and I don't know what that's from. I have been watching what I've been eating lately um, and I've been documenting that um, not on any type of form but in a notebook because I want to document when I take my medications, my vitamins, and then when my next dose is. But I have been documenting my um, my uh, food journals in in this notebook and I document breakfast lunch and dinner and then I also document um, the amount of protein the number of calories that I'm taking in and um, I just want to make sure uh, that I get those protein shakes in there as well um, as far as being compliant on my uh, medications I am at 100% uh, with the shakes I would say I'm probably at about 90% compliant on the shakes and uh, the vitamins I'm compliant on them so everything is going really well um, I looks like I'll probably be returning to work in a couple of weeks but I just I I, I still have um, somewhat of a se searing pain in my abdomen on the lower left side there is no pain by my um incisions however i do experience pain when i bend over to pick up something or if i move the wrong way it's like a searing burning pain and it's in my navel it actually has gotten my navel area quite sore well, I called the doctor's office and they basically did an assessment over the phone. They asked me if I was um, experiencing a fever, uh, nausea, or vomiting, um, of which I'm experiencing none of those, just the searing pain. And it's literally like a searing like a burning pain um, they didn't seem to be too much concerned with it and um, I guess I shouldn't be concerned I don't know um, but they did um, you know let me know that because of that I should probably be taking my pain medication which is a Laura tab and that's what it's called it's like a liquid Vicodin so I started taking that again it's very sweet it's it's in a liquid form and it's very very sweet and I take about 15 milliliters of that the only reason that I wasn't taking that is because it does cause drowsiness and I didn't want to um, go through my days being drowsy like that but I mean I I'll do whatever it takes to get the pain to my pain level come, to come down um, I am gonna do uh, a quick body shot um, and I don't know how to quite work with the videos and um, so that there's a comparison but I guess there has been other body shots in the past that I've taken so if 
you know, you want to look at those, then by all means, go right ahead. But I do want to do a quick body shot. I do feel that my body is changing. The working out is good. I don't feel as winded. So it, it does feel good outside of the searing pain. But I'm going to adjust this. Adjust my... Okay. This way and see if I can come back a little bit more. More. Uh, let's do it this way. Okay. So, this is actually, um, of course, my front, and then I'll do a side shot, a back shot. another side shot and then a full front okay so this is where I'm at so far um, my stomach is still healing um, other than that I, I feel good I haven't had any more instances of dumping syndrome I've been very very careful what I've been eating and uh, what I've been putting into my body and this past week I started incorporating working out so I hope to see um, some more results <laughs> within my own body the one of the things that I have noticed and I don't think you can see them but I have on a skirt it's a blue jean skirt um, and I hadn't been able to fit in this in quite a while but my legs are <laughs> are extremely thin. I have kind of like bird legs anyway. Let's see if I can show you my ankles. They're very, very thin. And it seems like I've been losing weight in my legs. <laughs> and not where I need to lose the weight and <laughs> that is just weird to me I'm gonna be walking around with these little bitty bird legs <laughs> and um, uh, little bitty bird legs on top of this round stomach so I hope that that changes but yeah I noticed that my legs were getting thin and I could actually put one hand like this around my ankle so I don't know that was weird but I just wanted to do a quick update going forward I'll probably you know change and do monthly updates um, with my progress but yeah I'm doing okay and and things are better so I just wanted to touch base with my YouTube family everybody looks well and everybody looks like they're doing well and I'm proud of everybody um, if you have any questions, concerns, please feel free to make a comment to me. I don't, um, you know, respond every night, but I'll definitely try because I believe that all information is important. And one of the reasons that I used YouTube was because there was a host of information, um, a host of videos um, that were absolutely wonderful of people blogging their own personal journey with specifically weight loss surgery what they're eating now so at each stage that I reach I literally go on YouTube and I look for YouTube videos um, that pertain to the stage that I'm at that I am in so it is a wonderful host of um, information out there on YouTube with regards to all the forms of weight loss surgery and I just hope that you know maybe one day my videos can also help um, others I haven't done a product video in quite a while um, maybe I'll do that in a couple of weeks I'm not sure I'm kind of eating the same things um, that I was eating before uh, only because I had experienced the dumping syndrome but 
you know i'm gonna go shopping find some new things um i have been craving sweet a little bit and i don't know why but that's another video thank you youtube and i will talk to you next time um until then um relax relate and release